out is literally an inch right there. And if you're not new here, you know that this is a different way that I usually do my clip-ins. This right here is the flip over method. This is my second time doing this method. It is a little bit different, but it's easier. And it's more low maintenance than the traditional way of doing clip-ins. So I hope you, you know, enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you like this way or the other way of doing the clip-ins. And yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, these clip-ins look so freaking good. I have like four packs of these clip-ins, like four packs of curl twin clip-ins. I need, I need plenty and you need one too. So this right here is the traditional way I usually do my clip-ins and to take them out, all you have to listen for is this sound right here. This is what we're working with. This is my natural hair right here. It's grown so much. If you're new here, I've been cutting some dead ends off. Having the clip-ins have been making me like rock my curls and my natural hair and just embrace my curly hair. So I'm really happy. My hair is like healthy. It doesn't look that healthy right now because it looks a little bit dry. And I think a lot of people like the flip over method because it can like last a lot longer. Like your hair is literally just braided back and you have so little leave out. This right here is the little leave out that you have for the flip over method. Like that's crazy. doing traditional just regular straight straight backs I'm doing it like at an angle as you can see but I love leaving like a leave out at the back as well I hate that little gap back there so I like leaving a little bit of leave out so it covers that little gap if you know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about that gap I can't, I can't stand it. Under like clip-ins or any install, I like doing at least 10 braids, so that's what I have going on here. And they're kind of big, but they still work, and that's literally all that matters. Plus the hair is curly and it's gonna be big, so you know, the volume is gonna make up for that anyway. Okay, not too much on the braids. I tried my best with these acrylic nails, and braiding like this way is a little bit harder, but but I, 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 do, I did my best. I did my best, and it's going under the clip-ins anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But now we're about to bobby pin it up, but this part is very simple. This was a longer part of this process. Putting the clip-ins in literally takes like five minutes. Max. Maximum. Once everything is bobby pinned up, all you have is the leave out in the front, the leave out in the back. Now we're ready for the clip-ins. And I don't need to say too much about these clip-ins. They obviously just speak for themselves. So I'm just going to show you, like, you know, guide you through the process. But I want to add that one thing I love about these clip-ins, whatever you do to your natural hair or whatever products you put in your natural hair, you can go ahead and put them in the clip-ins and they will do perfectly. And as you can see, I started with a clip-in that has three clips on them. And in this set, there's 10 clip-ins in total, but I like using all 10. But to start off, I like using the pair with three clips on them because I feel like it frames the bottom of my head perfectly. So for the clip-in map in my head, I start off with the clip-ins that have three clips on them, make my way to the four, make my way to the five, and then at the top, the very tip top of my head, I make my way and I just use all the clip-ins that have two clips on them, and that's like four in total. And right here's the clip-in with four clips on them, and everything like comes in two basically, so there's like a pair of each clip-in, if that makes sense. And I'm going in, and as you can see, I'm like reviving the curls as I'm going in, and it's just like a very simple process, honestly. Almost done, we finished all the longer clip-ins. All we have left is this right here to just cover up. After using all the longer clip-ins, there's four clip-ins left and they're very, very small. They're just two clips on them, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, we gotta do something about that. We need to do something about that. I just did a whole little crown around my head. Now I'm just gonna go in and blend my leave out in the front and in the back and that's literally, that's literally it. Okay, now let's see what it looks like. Like look at my curls and then look at the clip-ins. It just blends in so 
perfect. Let me know if you would ever try the flip over method or if you've tried it. The only, <laughs> the only thing is for me, I have a big forehead and I like when hair is in my face, but flip over method is like your hair has to be kind of back because you have to cover that little like perimeter thing that you made. That's the only reason why I don't usually gravitate towards the flip over method, but it is so easy. Like, oh my gosh. Forehead is out for sure. As you can see, it is completely out, but it's, you know, it's good sometimes to show your, you know, so, should I show your forehead? Why Why? Why not? But overall, it came out really cute. It's still drawing, so I'm gonna come back when it's like a little bit more volume. But like, when I say I literally, well you saw, I literally only have the front of my head out. Like literally like an inch in. And you can't even really tell. Like, that's crazy. Low maintenance, cute, beautiful, straight to the point, these clip-ins. 10 out of 10 every single time. I love when the results do the talking for me, like the curls, just, uh, the volume, and it's still drawing, it's gonna get bigger. Like, curls queen, like, just 10 out of 10. And just like that, the hair is done, it looks so freaking good, and it's not fully dry, it gets bigger and bigger from here, but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I love you for watching.